Well, it's Monday, so that means it's time for the Weekend Box Office Report, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theatres. Coming in at the number one spot by a massive landslide is the first standalone film for Despicable Me's Minions. Minions took in over $115 million this weekend, making it the second biggest opening for an animated film of all time, ahead of Toy Story 3 and just behind Shrek the Third, which opened with $121 million in 2007. Coming in at the number two spot is Jurassic World, making an additional 18 million in its fifth week and at the number three spot is pixar's inside out making an additional 17 million in fourth it's terminator genesis bringing in 13.7 million for a two-week domestic total of 68.7 million and rounding out the top five is the new horror film the gallows bringing in just over 10 million dollars john what stands out to you in this week's box office report well uh congrats to minions <laughs> it just destroyed everything in its path which I, I don't think comes as a surprise to any of us i think we we thought it was going to come in a little over 100 million. I predicted originally that it would probably be one of the billion dollar film clubs. I'm not so sure anymore because the reviews have not been great. I haven't had a chance with everything going on. I haven't had a chance to go see Minions yet, but those that have have been saying it's, <laughs> yes. it's really not all that good. So I, I don't know if it's going to have a high rewatchability factor, but super huge. Now on Mailbag, Mailbag's back by the way, guys. On Mailbag on Saturday, I somebody asked if uh, I thought Jurassic World would catch Titanic for the number two spot. And I said, I'll be honest, I'm not even sure Jurassic World is going to catch Avengers for the number three spot. Um, because I think this weekend will be the first weekend that we see a big nosedive in its, uh, in its, in its financial returns. And that is not the case. It only dropped an, another 38 point something percent down to about 18 million, which is still really respectable. I, I, and therefore now I think it's got a pretty decent chance of catching Avengers. I still don't think it's gonna catch Titanic because not only now does it have much to, for competition, but opening this coming weekend is Ant-Man, which is gonna, I think, really put the brakes on Jurassic World. Um, and the other thing that stands out a lot to me is Selfless. Ryan Reynolds has a lot of buzz around him. We knew the returns weren't going to be great on Selfless. They have not marketed this film well. They haven't marketed it much. But still, Ryan Reynolds, um, you think Gandhi, you think <laughs> it's going to be all right. And uh, it's, it played on over 2,000 screens and only made about $5 bucks. So that stands out to me a little bit. So I, I, didn't, I thought it would beat the Gallows. And Gallows, congrats, comes in number five, 10 million bucks, very respectable. So that's pretty good. Mark, you saw the results. What do you think? Yeah, sense to you? Many of, I knew Minions would do well, but I didn't know that it would beat Inside Out's opening weekend take, and it did, which is shocking to me. Because if you take your kids to see Inside Out, they're going to learn something. If you take your kids to see Minions, they're probably going to get dumber for the next like couple <laughs> days. But it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's fun, mindless entertainment for kids, I think. Minions just disappointed me critically, but there's such an appeal to these little guys. They're the best part of the Despicable Me franchise, and so it's not totally surprising. What I will say is that I think the drop-off from week one to week two with Minions is going to be huge, and I think that Inside Out might still be able to retain the overall box office win versus the other animated film, because I think Inside Out is going to hold stronger week to week to week than Minions will. Uh, Jurassic World, I mean, obviously, it's still, it's still a juggernaut, and The Gallows, I, I thought that a horror film opening like that that was marketed well, I thought, would have done a little bit more than $10 million. And John, you're right about Selfless. I, I like Selfless. I thought it was a cool, different take. It felt like a fun 90s action flick. And for like, I never saw a commercial for it on TV. I just like, I wasn't aware that the movie was coming out, and this is what I do for a living. So <laughs> it was a little shocking to me. I, th I honestly thought for a while, up until just a number of weeks ago, I honestly thought for a while it was going to be a straight-to-home video a straight to VOD kind of thing. And I guess right now, whenever people think of Ryan Reynolds, all they're thinking is Deadpool. Anyway, Dennis, what did you think? I think Minions is, it, it's going to be a juggernaut. I think it's going to, I think it's going to uh, outperform Inside Out just because I haven't seen it yet. So maybe my, my uh, enthusiasm will be tempered after I see it. But I just feel like, remember with Despicable Me uh, 1 and 2, just how much through the week's, it just it kept going mm -hmm. and going legs. and going. And I think Minions is going to do the same thing. As far as uh, Selfless, yeah, wasn't aware of it at all. When it kind of just popped up on our radar, we barely heard about it. And it does look like a, a VOD direct-to-home video movie. And I still don't really know what it's about. They didn't really market it. It's um, Tarsum Singh is yes, the director. Right. Yes. 
just which not is kind of a red flag. Yeah, you know, not really me. a fan of his fan of his work. So I, I think they knew it, and they're just like, forget it. Let's not waste any money marketing this movie. Let's just you know see what we can get out of it. And and the gallows, it, it, they, I thought it was marketed pretty well. Uh, even though I'm not a horror fan, it actually interests me enough to maybe think about seeing it. I really want to see the gallows, and I missed it because of Comic Con. And every year during Comic Con, there's always one of those movies that comes out that they kind of release during Comic Con, mm -hmm. so you forget about it. And it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it was selfless, and it has been a Ryan Reynolds film in the past. When R.I.P.D. came oh, yeah. out, they released mm, that the weekend at right. Comic-Con, hoping nobody would review it or even pay attention to it, because that apparently was terrible, too. I missed R.I.P.D., thankfully, but I like selfless, so if you haven't seen it, it I think it's worth checking out. Yeah, One of the things that, that I was worried about Minions going in was that, I, I love the Minions, but I always thought, Minions are amazing secondary characters. The Despicable Me movies work because of Gru, and then you had the minions playing off Gru, doing the little things on the side, and they were great accents. And I always was worried that, can these accents actually be the main driving force of the movie? And talking to Christian after he saw it, that's mm -hmm. the first thing he said to me, he goes, he goes, you totally felt the absence of Gru in this. So you can't base something on these guys alone. Uh, so again, I haven't seen it, but yeah, we'll see. What I, I think those little guys can carry their own movie. It just has to be a better film. Like they can't carry crap. You know, they can carry something good, but there's just not a lot of story in there. If you give them a better story, I think they can do their own film.